What does your pantry look like right now? Do you even know what's in there? In this video, we're gonna give you tips on why you might wanna organize it. Having an organized pantry makes all the difference in a healthy lifestyle. First of all, you wanna get rid of all of the food that you know isn't good for you, that you're going to eventually eat if it's there. So I highly recommend to go in and just clean it out. Get rid of all of the food that does not support you and a healthy lifestyle. When you can see what's going on in your pantry and you can see what you have, it, it actually clears your mind. It gives you the support that you need to be able to choose, make good choices and put together a meal that is good for you. But when you have food and you have food behind jars and you don't know what you have, it really makes a cloudy mind. It makes it hard to be able to think clearly and make the meal that you want. It gets frustrating and oftentimes you just throw something together like mac and cheese. So make sure you have healthy supportive food in there, have it in a way that you can see what's there, and then it's easy for you to move forward in making good choices for your meals. It's even worth paying someone to organize your pantry for you. If it feels too overwhelming or you really feel like you don't have time, pay the neighbor girl or the neighbor boy $5 or $10 to come clean out and organize it the way you want them to. Tell them how to do it, walk away, get things done, and within an hour or less, you have a pantry that supports your healthy lifestyle and can set you forward in putting things together the way you want it. You feel good when you open your pantry and you'll be so glad that you did. So this is my pantry and you'll notice that there's not a lot here and that's because the bulk of what we use is fruits and vegetables, produce that's in our fridge, but this is the other bulk of what we use. A lot of nuts and a lot of seeds and rice. And here I have our organic popcorn that I make for the kids on movie nights. But, and then I also, I need more jars, but I have some oats here. And this is just a portion. The rest of what I buy is in the freezer because it, the nutrition stays better there. So I use, this is what I use on a daily basis. I put enough in there that I have it there, but then I can fill it up when I need it. And then up on top, I have cans of food and I have my healthy cereal, I have recipe books. This is my dehydrated bread, but it's uncooked and it tastes just as good as bread. I think it's better. You can make a sandwich out of that, so I have that in here. And then up on top, I have my food storage cans because they're full of nutrition. They're, I use it in my daily cooking, and so I put that up there. And then below, I have stuff for my kids' lunches, I have my olive oil, my apple cider vinegar that I have down here, I have my ground flour, and then I have my cups and lids to send smoothies and hot chocolate with my husband and my kids to school. So once a week I try and clean up a little bit and make sure it's organized, but a lot of times things get tucked in the back and you forget you even have it. And, and when it's all messy, which it has been uh, for me, it, it just is frustrating when you go to cook in the kitchen and it, it can make you feel frustrated and sometimes when you're feeling that way you just grab mac and cheese and cook that instead and so clean it out it really does clear your mind and it makes for a healthy environment and a healthy lifestyle because the food you eat has such a, a big impact on your your health and the way you're living the way you're feeling it's important to imagine and create this good energy, this happy, safe energy in your kitchen. So this may be something new for you or it may even seem a little bit cheesy, but I promise you that when you stop and you close your eyes and you think about what kind of energy you want in your kitchen, what do you want your cupboards to look like? Do you want to open it and have it be a mess? Have it be full of food that doesn't make you feel good emotionally or physically? Or do you want it organized and do you want it a plan? Do you want it to be a safe haven for you? And I have found that with visualization for anything, it's the greatest power. It, it's what can set things forth for what you really want in your life. So one of my favorite self-development um, specialists or experts is Marianne Williamson and you can YouTube a meditation that she's put together to imagine this happy space and this happy energy in your kitchen and it really is life-changing. It really influences how you feel and the way you do things at home to support yourself.
So now that you see the value in organizing your pantry, I hope that you'll take some time to do that. And just know that the first time that you organize it is the hardest time. After that, it's just simple maintenance.